Liberal magazine, The Atlantic, questioning why Democrats keep falling for superstar losers Stacey Abrams and Beto O'Rourke, who seem like they couldn't even get elected dog catcher. Both campaigns are on track to get crushed in their midterm races, despite their campaigns raising $170 million to unseat Republican governors in Georgia and Texas. But it's really no wonder with moments like this. So I'm here at the dentist, and we're going to continue our series on the people of the border. I was not able to stand on the bar next door because the ceiling is too low. All right, okay, right on. Here we go. Now I can see everybody. Thank you all for welcoming us here today to Ohio. That I'm running to serve you as the next president of the United States of America. I'm looking forward to celebrating a victory on the 6th of November with you. I'm running for governor, and I want to tell you why. Okay, he's running for governor. He didn't tell us why, but do you think he has any good ideas other than, hell yeah, we're going to take your AR-15? His only idea is to turn camp campaigning into a career and then live off the millions of the donations. It's a yeah. weird world when you can lose in a race for Congress, and it doesn't matter because the next step is just running for governor. Beto's done nothing to work, nothing, nothing like real work, except make his life free of work, and it doesn't matter. I think this is, it's, it, they've turned camp, it's a great scam is what I'm saying. Yep. It's a great scam, I'm jealous. You don't have to really work. Okay, all right, so Jesse, you've got Stacey Abrams, who says, I'm not an election denier, but she never conceded the election, okay? And yet you've got people who still give these losers money. Why? The two favorite presidents of the liberals, JFK and Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to recreate that. Like they think they're franchises. Let's just do a second act. So the, they see Stacey, she's black, you're the next Barack Obama, and you're a woman, let's go. Or they see Beto, they're like, oh, you know what? He wears a nice button down shirt, and college girls like his smile. Camelot, here we go, here's $100 million. It doesn't work like that. You can't be a liberal and win in Texas or Georgia. You can be a normal Democrat, maybe have a shot. But you can't be radical left. All right, Jessica, what do you think of people like Beto, who's married to Beto, whatever his name is, who's married to a wealthy woman and you know, hasn't had a real job, just like Fetterman? Well, I mean, his <laughs> parents are paying for him, too. What's with so these true. guys? I, Beto was a congressman, which is a real job last time Yeah, how long did he have it? A few. I don't know Couple how many years. years. All right, anyway, for president. so as the only yeah, person right. who actually donates to Democrats here, I'll tell you, so I'll go on like Act Blue, right? And I'll look at all the names and then I'll try to find the most boring person. And my dad had loved the unsexiest candidate ever, Michael Bennett, for, for president. He was probably the only person oh, yeah. donating to him. And he was like, this is the kind of person who will bore you to death, but he will be good mm -hmm. yeah. and he will be measured and he will get things done. And he kept giving to him and obviously he lost. But you should not fall for these kinds of things. And I wonder with things like Sherry Beasley, for instance, in North Carolina, or I, I don't think Val Demings would have won, but there are people that you can find who are also fun and interesting who have a shot at winning their races and give okay. them money. All right, Dana, wrap it a, up. Well, there's a direct correlation between big, fancy, beautiful cover story in a magazine and failure on a statewide race. And one of the things that's happening, especially with these two, is that they're dragging down all of the down ballot races. We talked to Henry mm -hmm. Cuellar oh, yeah. today on America's yes, Newsroom. Yes, saw that. And I, I asked him, I said, do you think Beto's helping you? He didn't say no, but he didn't say yes. He tried to walk a line. He knows it's not helping him. And we know from anecdotal evidence and also data that Stacey Abrams is dragging down Warnock. Raphael Warnock. Right. And so for, from a Republican perspective, they would say to the Democrats, just <laughs> keep, keep, on, keep on doing it. That's because yeah. they on. fall in love so easily. <clears throat> yep.